Have you ever wondered what happens once a human takes their final breath and the intricate processes that unfold within the body post-mortem? Today, we embark on a scientific exploration into the mysterious realm that awaits our mortal vessels after the cessation of life. Join me as we delve into the fascinating journey that unfolds within our bodies when the spark of life extinguishes. Phase 1. The Immediate Aftermath as the heart ceases to beat, a cascade of events begins. The lack of oxygen triggers a process known as autolysis, where cells begin to break down due to the absence of energy. Simultaneously, a phenomenon called rigor mortis sets in, causing the muscles to stiffen. But what happens at the cellular level during these critical moments? In the first minutes after death, the body undergoes a series of profound changes. The cessation of blood circulation leads to a lack of oxygen delivery to cells, initiating a process known as autolysis. This self-digestion occurs as cellular structure is breakdown due to the absence of energy production. Meanwhile, rigor mortis, the stiffening of muscles, begins to take hold, creating an eerie stillness in the body. Understanding the intricacies of these immediate post-mortem changes allows us to peer into the first chapters of the body's journey beyond life. Phase 2. Cellular Breakdown Within minutes of death, cells undergo a series of changes. Enzymes that were once held in check now run rampant, breaking down cell membranes and wreaking havoc on cellular structures. This process, known as necrosis, marks the beginning of the body's transformation into a vessel for decomposition. At the cellular level, the cessation of life marks the beginning of a relentless breakdown. With the body's defense mechanisms no longer operational, enzymes that were once carefully regulated become unleashed, breaking down cell membranes and causing widespread cellular disruption. This process, referred to as necrosis, is a key element in the body's transformation into a stage ripe for decomposition. As we unravel these intricate cellular changes, we gain insight into the dynamic and complex processes that unfold within our mortal vessels in the wake of death. Phase three, decomposition and microbial activity. The body, no longer protected by the immune system, becomes a feast for microbes that have been patiently awaiting their chance. Bacteria within the digestive system start breaking down tissues, causing the release of gases that contributed to the characteristic odor associated with death. It's a natural recycling process where our organic matter returns to the earth. With the immune system no longer standing guard, the body becomes a canvas for microbial activity. Bacteria within the digestive system, once held in check, now flourish as they begin breaking down tissues. This process not only releases gases responsible for the distinct odor associated with death, but also marks the initiation of a natural recycling process. In death, our organic matter becomes a source of sustenance for a microscopic ecosystem, highlighting the interconnectedness of life and death. Phase 4. The Journey Within But what about the internal organs? The brain, once a hub of consciousness, begins to undergo a complex series of changes. Without a continuous supply of oxygen, brain cells face rapid degeneration. This deterioration of neural tissue highlights the fragility of the organ, that once held our thoughts, memories, and emotions. As we journey within the body, the fate of internal organs comes into focus. The brain, once the seat of consciousness, undergoes a complex series of changes. Deprived of a continuous supply of oxygen, brain cells face rapid degeneration. This deterioration of neural tissue underscores the fragility of an organ that once held the essence of our thoughts, memories, and emotions. Exploring the fate of the brain in death invites reflection on the profound mysteries of consciousness and the transient nature of human existence. Phase 5. The Timeline of Decay As we explore the timeline of decay, we uncover the stages of putrefaction. From the initial color changes in the skin to the eventual breakdown of tissues, the body undergoes a profound metamorphosis. Understanding this process not only demystifies the natural course of death, but also sheds light on the interconnectedness of life and the cycle of nature. In the continuum of decay, 
the body undergoes distinct stages of putrefaction. The skin, once vibrant, undergoes noticeable color changes, signaling the onset of the transformative process. Tissues break down, and the body undergoes a metamorphosis into a state of decomposition. By understanding these stages, we demystify the natural course of death and gain a deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness of life and the cyclical nature of the cosmos. Hence, in unraveling the scientific intricacies of what happens to our bodies when we die, we confront the inevitability of our own mortality. This journey from life to death is not morbid, but rather a testament to the wonders of biological processes. As we ponder the fate of our earthly vessels, let us marvel at the scientific symphony that orchestrates the transition from one state of being to another. In conclusion, the scientific exploration of what happens to our bodies after death is a poignant journey into the natural processes that define our mortal existence. Far from morbid, this understanding serves as a testament to the marvels of biological orchestration. As we confront the inevitability of our own mortality, let us appreciate the intricate symphony that guides the transition from life to death, recognizing the profound beauty inherent in the cycle of existence. Thank you for joining me on this scientific odyssey. I hope you found our exploration into the science of what happens after we say our goodbyes, both enlightening and thought-provoking. Now, here's the deal. If you're hungry for more mind-blowing insights and high-quality content like this, consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing the notification bell. This is your passport to a front row seat on a continuous odyssey into the mysteries of life and beyond. Until next time, stay curious, keep challenging the status quo, and don't forget mind. Limes is your hub, where curious minds unite in a desert of seriousness. This is your host signing off. See you in our next value-packed videos. Until then, adios and take care.